So Sony recently released their top 10 most played games in the first year of the PlayStation 5 lifestyle. And all it did was confirm something that I've been saying for a long time now. About how, how exclusives aren't the end all be all. They're not the biggest games. And only a certain percentage of the PlayStation market are buying these games. That's why they're going to PC. So... You know, so when Sony released it, you know, they, they released it based off time played. And I think, and, you know, this kind of also follows up with the importance on how they see the metric of engagement over sales. Because if, if it was strictly sales, they would have said that as well. But so let's check this out. The first top seven games are all multi-plats. And then number 10 is also multi plat There are only two exclusives that made the list. Uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Demon's Souls. And they're at the bottom. The The full list, you know, Fortnite is the most played game. Call of Duty is the second most. Then FIFA. Then 2K21. Like, none of this stuff is surprising. Then Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Then Destiny 2. Then MLB The Show. Then you finally get to an actual exclusive in Spider-Man, then Demon Souls, then it ends with 2K22. Now, notice something. All the biggest games are what? Multiplats. And they're the same shit that the casuals buy year after year after year. And I've said that a million times. Exclusives don't hold the same weight they used to back in the day. Yeah, they're important, but they're clearly not the end-all be-all. And I think this also... Fits in, uh, and notice there's no Ratchet and Clank, no Returnal, no Kena, none of those, no Death Loop, none of those games made it, none of them. All right, and and so so when these PlayStation fans do their list wars, just remember they're not fucking playing these games or buying buying these games like like you like they try to make it seem. I've said it before and I say it again, around ten percent of the player base are buying these exclusives. All right, that's it. You, you get a little more or a little less, depending on the situation. But it, it, let's, let's say that there are 13 million PlayStation 5s sold. You know, it's not a situation where 10 million of them bought Spider-Man. No, at most, at most, 1.3 million bought Spider-Man. And even that's pushing it, I believe. You know, uh, so, yeah, this just confirms more that PlayStation... Gamers, when they talk about sales, when they talk about exclusives, it's all just, you know, it's all just just talk just to make it seem like Xbox has no games. Because they sure aren't playing it like that. They sure aren't buying it like that. And the proof is in the pudding. Forza Horizon 5 have, uh, last I heard, over 7 million players. And the game just came out this week. It's been a massive success. And yeah, it's across place, you know, it's across PC and Xbox. And stuff like that is exactly why, you know, Microsoft made the decision to take advantage of their own platform. Remember, Windows is a Microsoft platform. All right. You know, and, and when we talk about PC gaming, let's not get that twisted, you know. And let's also be, be real here. A majority of those players, I guarantee, were Xbox players. You know, it's a cross gen game. You know, it, so I'm not going to sit here and be delusional thinking that that all seven million of them were playing from the Series X. I know that's not the case, you know, but look, I guarantee there is no PlayStation exclusive as big as Forza Horizon 5 is right now. That doesn't have the player base of Forza Horizon 5. I guarantee it. And to see that only two exclusives and two of, and they were the two you know, release date ones that came out day one are the only ones that made the list on the most played games of the year, while the rest are multi-plats, your Assassin's Creed, your Destinies, your FIFA, your Call of Duty. It shows that, once again, the casual market is with PlayStation. Well, the casual market in general, because I, I, I guarantee that the top played games are going to be quite similar on Xbox, you know, your Maddens and, and FIFAs and all that. And on Xbox, I do think it'll be, you know... Instead of FIFA be Madden, since since we have more of an American market here for for Xbox fans, that would be my prediction. You know, I don't know yet, and I haven't researched it. But point is, these ex PlayStation fans, 
you know, you talk a big game, but the numbers aren't backing up. This is why Jim Ryan is putting your games on PC.